In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called converting between scientific notation and standard form in a real world situation. And before I begin, I should recall that for scientific notation, I would want to always have one and only one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal times 10 to some power. If that power is positive, that's used to represent large numbers. If that power on the 10 is negative, that's used to represent very small numbers. And based on this, we can make this transition between scientific and standard or standard and scientific by simply moving the decimal place. And for the first example here, A, we're told that the diameter of Jupiter at its equator is approximately 1.43 times 10 to the fifth kilometers, and we're asked to write this in standard notation. So I'm given the number in scientific notation, and as I move in the standard notation, standard notation numbers written the way we're more familiar with, I recognize this as a positive exponent, so this is a very large number. So scientific notation is taking this small number, 1.43, and it's making it larger by five. So by moving the decimal place five times, I can write it without the 10 to the fifth. And the fact that I know that I'm making this number larger helps me remember which way to move the decimal. If my starting number is 1.43, and I'm making it larger by moving the decimal five times, I would move that decimal five times to the right, filling in any empty spaces with zero. I've moved the decimal from behind the one to now behind this last zero. So in standard form, we of course drop the 10 to the power. We have 143,000 kilometers. Positive powers in scientific notation gives us large numbers. For B, we're told an astronomer's infrared telescope is able to detect radiation with a wavelength of 0.0000768 meters to write this in scientific notation. So here we're starting with a very small number, and we said that for small numbers, we're going to end up with negative exponents in scientific notation. So small numbers, negative exponents, and now I'm going to end up with a negative exponent. But just to write this in scientific notation, I need to move the decimal behind the first non-zero number. So I need to move the decimal two, three, four, five, six times. That would put the decimal behind the first non-zero number. And since I'm converting to scientific notation, I know it's going to be times 10 to some power. I move the decimal six times, but since this is a small number, I should recall that this is times 10 to the negative six. So this is our number written in scientific notation. Whether we're going from standard to scientific or scientific to standard, recalling that when n is positive, that's a large number, and when n is negative, that's a small number, should help us make sure that we have the right signs and the right direction of movement for our decimal.